Hi, it's Lynn from Lunacy Designs. Thank you for joining me today. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator based in West Sussex in the UK. And I'm coming on to share some projects that I've made um, with the Flowering Zinnia Suite, which is one of our online exclusive sets that we have. Um, there's loads of lovely bits that you'll never see in any of the catalogues. Um, but before I start waffling on too much, I will flip the camera over and we can get straight on with the crafting. So the flowering zinnia suite comprises the stamp set, um, which has some wonderful images and a coordinating stamp set. So we've got that. Those three dies that cut out the stamped images and then you've got these extra bits that create that you can create flowers with and I'll come back to that um, but this is fabulous I was very lucky I am part of um, Emma Goddard's stamping starfish team and at last month's or February's actually um, team meeting I won these and the designer series paper um uh, in a raffle so oh, oh no the this and the paper so i just had to buy the dies so i'm feeling very very grateful for that and i just i can't stop i'm slightly obsessed we've also got an embossing folder it's a 3d embossing folder called zinnia and i love the way stamping up have sort of now check um started calling everything the same so it makes it so much easier when you're sort of looking through your stash this is a six by six um, embossing folder but it took me a little bit of by surprise the first time i ran it through because the design runs this way rather than that way um, and so you just have to with any of our embossing folders i guess just double check to see which way the pattern goes but it was not a problem because I was able to use the um, embossed bit that I, I bit of card. Um, and then the designer series paper, it's very bright and breezy. It's a 12 by 12. I've cut these down to card front size. So you've got some very um, beautiful flower, floral designs. This actually inspired me for the card that I'm going to create with you today so, so very heavily um, designed and then some nice patterns graphic patterns on the back so I think they are I mean it's it's not my nor some of uh, some of my favorite colors but it's very bright and bold so actually it's, it's lovely it's been great to create with these I shared this card here um, on Instagram it was an entry for a, comp a, a creative challenge I didn't win but it was great to actually create with this stamp set um, with the dies um, and use some of the designer series paper so I really enjoyed that and I'll show you how these um, these this was put together before we get on to the stamping so this is a two layered flower so you, you get two different types of leaves and then at the inside and I've added a bit of this is uh, crushed curry to that and I've added some little dimensionals on top. You can create um, and make these into a two layered flower. I've added a little bit of melon mambo in there but actually if you layer them up even more and I shan't do it on camera but you can layer that up there and you get this sort of more detailed flower and I absolutely love it so I've got two I shall make a third and then I will share on Instagram the card that I create with that so I've got something in mind but today is all about um, the card. So I, normally when I come on, I share 
projects that we've made in class. This is the one that we made in class last month. It's very simple. Uh, stamped the image in Memento. I coloured these in with um, watercolour pencils and then did a little bit of heat embossing. The back panel is um, uses the embossing folder. It's got a little bit of ink there, but and find a way to cover that up. Um, and just a bit of stamping on the inside. So that's a really uh, lovely card. And I thought I would recreate that, but I don't know if you've followed me before, you'll know that I'm a, I'm quite bad at doing the multiples of the same. So I did this was the next one and I was inspiration the color from the de uh, designer series paper, but I've I wanted to use my blends to color in. Um and I've used is is exactly the same. I've just added a panel on the back and this was cut with the everyday detail dies and those dies are fabulous um there's I, i'll i'll do I'll, maybe i'll do another card with uh, uh demonstrate those but that is another one this is a berry burst so they're all fairly similar linen tw um, linen thread bows um sort of sparkle gems but this bit is the outside of that bit if that makes sense so the die creates will cut two panels with the die if i show you the die itself that's the die so you've got the cutting um edge on the in the middle and you get two bits so i just I had to use both bits on my cards but actually it looks like a bit of a picture frame and I quite like that. Both of those have the embossed piece in the background. I used a bit of DSP, this is very simple. That's Melon Mambo cardstock and then I created um, a couple more. These are a little bit more technique so this is a, a nice fancy fold it's a faux stepper card Ooh, I've got some hair there um, and you can't see it but I when I was coloring it in this is calypso coral and I the flowers were very light I picked up the wrong um, the wrong blend and used light pumpkin pie and it looked wrong. I have done projects where the three flowers are different colours. Um, but what I did is I stamped fussy cut and then that is stuck on top. You can just about see it on there. I could have raised that up to add a bit more dimension. But, you know, it was great fun. And this, so this panel here is embossed. And then I've used the deboss side on these two bits. And, and it just gives you the variation and I think it's so pretty. Both of them are so pretty. I think it'd be quite nice if you um, added some ink to them. So that's another future project. As I say, my head is buzzing with ideas for this. This is Highland Heather, one of my favourite colours. Um, and I, ha it's, I wanted more than one um, of the three flowers um, but to change it up I've done the mirror technique so I will probably do separate videos for both of these cards so that you can see exactly what I did very simple technique but actually it looks really good so I'm very happy with those haven't put sentiments on all of them because you just never know nice to have a stash of really pretty cards on your shelves for occasions when you want them so those are them this is the card that uh, I'm going to make or a variation of this card that I'm going to make with you today um, it's very simple I created as as I said inspired by this pretty DSP in the pack here I created a background and then I just did some um, kept it black and white very simple nothing on the inside and and that's a really simple it's called a simple stamping project so what i'm going to do just to change it up a little 
I've got the same bits here, but I have put an extra fold in the um, card base. This is thick whisper white, half a sheet of A4, and it is scored at 7.4 and 14.8 centimetres, and it is 10 and a half centimetres tall. So it just gives you a, a bit of a fancy fold, very simple called a z fold we've got our panel of melon mambo now i'm keeping that the same size so this is just cut three millimeters shorter on two sides so that you've just got a very slim board around and then i've got a panel of basic black and a panel of um basic white now depending on how well the stamping goes that will either be kept straight because I'm struggling with the sentiment or it will be offset like my last one. But let's get on with the stamping. And you can see just how easy this is. So I've got Memento Ink and Melamambo. Don't need a lot for this, this card. And I'm just going to concentrate around the edge. Don't need to worry about the um, middle oh just got my hand in that there we go and so that will cover that up what I might do is just do one more in there and that no nope, that will be covered over anyway see i'm just going to clean this off because the melon mambo is such a strong color but i didn't do that before and it's colored my stamp not that it does any harm at all like so clean that off Um, now that can go straight on there. Do I do that? Uh, no, let's just put that to one side for a minute. Let me get the big image. There it is. My craft room is, because I've been creating, my craft room is a little chaotic, even though I cleaned it last week. Ah, never mind, never mind, let's see. When it's a big, bigger image, I always tend to put it flat on the desk and that way you can see if you've added all the ink you want on there. I'm going to... ink on oh must have ink all over my my hands let's see if we can hide that smudge there we are you'll never know I can clean my hands up there with my little chamois there we are that's done it and then Let's see if we can get this sentiment straight. Oh, that's better. I'm not very good. I don't want to get my head in front of the camera. Yes, that looks all right. I've just got a little bit of bubbles down here reason I need to put a new blade on my trimmer so I'm just going to keep that black and white and I'm going to tie a bow before I put it on the card base 
I'm going to see if I can tie a bow. So let's just add... Bit of Tombow glue and add that on to that panel. I'll put all the measurements for this on the blog and there'll be a link in the description box below. I'm just going to pull that down and let's have a look. Hmm. I think I'm going to have to pop that up on dimensions first. And I'm using the edges as I always do. Pop that bit in the middle hesitated then I just think actually it's something very um elegant about black and white and that cerise would also look nice with navy but anyway now let's see let's see if I can tie a bow sometimes I'm I'm challenged on camera let's do one there shall we See if this will work. I'm not sure if that tail is big enough. Well, this lovely ribbon is actually retiring at the end of the month, so if you would like to get your hands on it, um, I'll do it before before the end of the month. So yes, that's rather lovely. I like that. And then we are just going to. glue down put glue down this that side because it is only going to be attached to this little panel here try and get that even lovely and the other part to the suite that i missed uh telling you about but i've only got one of the pink sequins they are um adhesive backed sequins wondering whether to bring in another color dig through my stash I think on this occasion we will my take pick tool I'm not even sure if this these gems are current I'll, I'll uh, work it out and let you know opaque adhesive backed gems so there are three Three sizes, we'll put one, two and three. There we go. Nice and simple. And I think you could tie that up quite nicely by stamping 
either the big image or the um, the three flowers or the other one on on the envelope or both actually there we go so thank you for, i hope you enjoyed that do uh, let me have some feedback in the comments i would love to know what you think and um pop that out of the way those are the two different versions same same but different um and uh, i will share pictures of everything else over on my blog thank you so much for joining me today take care stay safe bye for now